In this video, we will do a quick overview of the basic search function in JSTOR database. As you can see, we are on the Rogers Library homepage. You can access the homepage at www.fmarion.edu slash library. From the homepage, look for the database tab. All library databases are listed in alphabetical order, so you're going to scroll until you see JSTOR. JSTOR is a collection of over 150 scholarly journals, books, research reports, pamphlets, and other documents, many dating from the early 19th century to recent years. Journal articles span a wide range of disciplines from arts, business, history, social science, and humanities. Contents can be searched by title, subject, or publisher. Searches can be performed by entering in a simple keyword in the basic search box in the middle of the screen. For example, let's do a basic search of Civil War. Now, as you notice, I added quotation marks around Civil War. This tells the database to, to read Civil War as a phrase rather than two separate terms. You also notice the little drop down options here is saying, oh, am I want to find Civil War as an author? Maybe I want to find things that have Civil War in the title, or maybe I'm looking for Civil War as a publication name. For right now, I just want to do a basic search of Civil War. So I'm going to click on the search button here on the right. Now, as you know, the Civil War rendered over 400,000 results. You see images here. Um, it sorts your, um, your findings by relevance, but you can also change this to newest or oldest. And I also have the show snippets option uh, checked so I can just read a quick synopsis on what this particular book chapter or journal article is about. On the left side of the page, you see the refine results tab. You can refine results by maybe you just want to look at uh, journals. And as you see, my results went down to 342,000. You can also just click any of these options if you're looking for maybe a primary source content like pamphlets or images. And you also have the publication date. Uh, option. Uh, let's say you don't want to look at anything published prior to the year 2000. So you can just type that in. And if I want to go up to to recent times, if I want to go up to things published even in 2020, you can just uh, leave the two option blank. And now I can uh, uh, press apply again. You also see uh, subjects. Uh, maybe you just want to look at how many resources you can find on the African American studies and you can uh, click that um, as well. You also notice here on the access type it has content I can access or all content. Now content I can access means that is content that uh, we at Francis Marion are subscribed to. I've not changed this to all content. I can just click on all content right here. And that's all content that is available in JSTOR, but we may not have uh, access to that content. And I'm going to show you an example of one that we don't have uh, access to. Okay, this one right here. When it's things that we don't have access to, you see this black uh, X right here. And you notice it says citation access only. The download PDF option is not available. You can just click on this article and it's just giving you the uh, the citation information. Um, it's just giving you a quick preview and, and that's it. Um, you notice over here it says download for $9. Please do not pay for any info. Please uh, see one of us reference librarians or speak to our interlibrary loan librarian and let's see if we can borrow that uh, particular 
uh, resource from another university um, for you. We'll, we'll help you through the uh, interlibrary loan access before you pay for anything. So now I'm going to go back to my results. And I'm going to click on content I can access. Try content you can access first um, unless you absolutely need to borrow something from uh, another um, university. Then we can help you with that. Um, so let's look at this, uh, my first option here. This is telling me it's a journal article. It's giving me the name of the article, giving me the author. It's telling you what um, what journal it was found in. And so you can just click on this right here. And you have an image of the um, the article that, that you want to look at. It's giving you the an image of the actual journal. Uh, giving you a quick abstract on it. And I also wanted to point out stable URL here. Let's say you're actually in this database, but you need to leave and you want to come back to this particular resource. This stable URL is what you want to copy and paste and maybe send, a, uh, send it to yourself, maybe email it to yourself. This is what you want to um, put in the browser to go back to this direct resource. If you copy and paste the web address in the browser, you're not going to get back to your uh, particular find. Da databases are updated all the time and the address in the web browser can change. But the stable URL, it means exactly that, is stable and that is where this resource is located. Uh, the site, this item, actually will tell you how to cite the item in MLA, APA, and Chicago. Uh, format but check with your professor to make sure you're using the right uh, the most updated uh, version of MLA APA uh, what edition your professor wants you to use uh, for your assignments over here on the right side of the page you see the download PDF option you can actually click on this and you have the option to download you can save it on a USB drive and you have the option to print uh, save if you want to create a folder or a workspace you can actually save any of the um, articles and book chapters that you find and share um, allows you to email uh, a finding to yourself now we're going to go back to the results over here and um, I'm actually going to take out my content I can just click on the X here or I can just uncheck it over here and and I'm going to uh, take that out too. You know, Civil War is a huge topic. And let's say you want to look at a certain aspect of Civil War. Uh, my research question is, what is what role did black soldiers play in the Civil War? Now, when you're searching in a database and you are searching more than one keyword at a time you want to use boolean operators boolean the uh, boolean operators for key uh for databases is and or and not so i want to find articles on the civil war and black soldiers so i'm going to type in and and if you notice here all of these um, suggestions are popping up i have done this search before and so it's remembering where i've uh done this search before and bringing up these suggestions and that's also very helpful because if you you know you're in the database and you got to come back it uh, well uh, it can remember um, the terms that you use so um, I'm telling the database find articles that have Civil War and black soldiers together so I'm gonna click the search button now as you can see that narrowed my results to a four thousand one hundred and nine and again you see how civil war and black soldiers is highlighted my keywords for me and all of the different um, articles that that are available on that now other um, boolean operator is or you use or when you have keywords that are either synonyms or words that 
uh, a very uh, it can mean the same thing or, or maybe a word that has uh, interchangeable terms. So my other option is uh, the other word that I want to use is colored infantry. Colored infantry was also a word used to describe black regiments that fought in the Civil War. So I'm going to use this option right here. You notice I put black soldiers and I put my or a Boolean operator between black soldiers and colored infantry. So what this is telling the database is find articles on the Civil War and black soldiers or colored infantry. So let's see what results I get. Now, as you can see, the my number of results went up to over 4,500. What the what this told the database is find articles that contain either black soldiers or colored infantry. And if you look at my first result here, this article actually has uh, colored infantry um, in the title, and it's gone through and highlighted uh, highlighted that term again. So if you want to increase your uh, findings, uh, you want to use or. Now our other Boolean operator is not. Let's say I want to find articles on the Civil War, but not the American uh, Civil War. And so I'm going to use this one right here. Now, if you notice, I put uh, parentheses around the multiple words that I'm using for or because I, I'm sort of I want them to be grouped together. This option tells me tells the database find Civil War but not the American Civil War. Now this first one right here, this is, um, I truncated the word America. Uh, truncations are used when words can start the same, but it can have multiple endings. So America can be America, it can be Americans. I want to eliminate both. So I'm going to put the truncation where the similarity of the word ends. So I put it after the letter C. I also put or here or the United States or the US articles can contain I want to make sure I eliminate any articles that contain any of these words and so now if I press the search button let's see what results I get now you see the results went up to 25,000 um, and you see where I got this first article right here is the Haitian Revolution this article right here is Syria and Kurds. This article is Gaza and Israel. So it found articles on Civil War, but not the American uh, Civil War. So that's just a quick overview of how you do the basic search, but, uh, search option using Boolean operators. And our next video, I'm going to go over the advanced search option and the browse. So see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.